So this question says, which quadratic equation has no real solutions? Okay, so this is definitely a knowledge question of sorts. There is something you can do. I mean, it requires knowledge either way. So um, the fast way to get to the answer requires knowledge. Knowledge of the formula, the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac. So b squared minus 4ac has a few rules or outcomes that let us have information regarding the expected um, number and type of solutions we get from a quadratic equation. So if b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, we actually expect two real solutions. If b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero, we expect one real solution solution. And if b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, we expect no real solutions. So obviously we're in this area here. We want b squared minus 4ac to be less than zero. So we're just going to test each one of these answers until we get one that is that makes this true, right? Where b squared minus 4ac is less than zero. So just so that you remember, b and a and c, these come from the coefficients of the quadratic. So a is always the term in front of x squared, b is in front of the x, and c is the term all by itself. So for, let's see, let's erase all this for now. I'll rewrite this. So for choice a, b squared would be 14 squared minus 4 times a is 1, right? Because there's nothing in front of x squared, so that's like an invisible 1 coefficient. And c is negative 49. And we can just do the math there. And even without doing the math, to be honest, I can see whatever this is, 14 squared, which I think is like 256 or something like that, this is going to be positive. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 49 is positive something. So I'm going to have 14 squared plus that, right? So it's not going to be less than 0. Because again, less than 0 basically just means negative. So we're looking for an answer that's going to be negative. Okay. So if you're short for time, you can definitely do it that way. Here, I will show you every step. So 14 squared is 14 times 14 is 196. So stated that wrong earlier, 196, and then 4 times 49 is, um, let me see, 4 times 49 is also 196. So it's 196 plus 196. And I think from there you can see, okay, this is, this is not, this is not less than zero. So A is gone. How about choice B? Well, that would be negative uh, 14 squared, which is still going to be the same, 196, minus 4 times 1 times positive 49 this time. So here we'd have positive 196. Here we have a negative 196, and we'd have equal 0, right? So that's also not less than 0, so b is gone. For choice c here, uh, negative b, I'm sorry, b squared would be negative 14 squared minus 4a is 5, C is negative 49. And again, I can tell you that's going to be wrong because of the negative signs here. We're going to turn into positive signs. Um, so this is, again, going to just be a positive value, basically 20 times 49. And this is our positive 196. So there's just no, there's no chance that that's less than zero. Right? It cannot be less than zero because it's positive. So C is got for that reason. For choice D, we can see the mechanics here of why choice D will work. I'd have a negative 14 squared minus 4 times 5 times 49, right? which we know this is going to be a negative value that is larger than 196. So we have 196 minus, let's do the math in the calculator, 4 times 5 times 49 so I had 196 minus 980, which is definitely less than zero, okay? So I just want to show that there's not really a need to find the solution here if you understand that this is a range of values that we care about, and basically we want it to be 
negative. So this one is definitely negative without us finding the actual value here, whereas the rest of these are definitely positive or zero, right? So those are why those are incorrect. So choice D is our answer here.